Hi, I'm Danny. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll show you possible reasons why a fuse will blow. In my last video, my rear window wasn't going up and down. I ended up finding a bad fuse. If you haven't watched that video, I'll add a link at the end of this video. But in today's video, I'll show you how to test the complete window circuit to see if it's drawing too much current causing that fuse to blow. Let's get started. I'll be doing all my tests right here at the window switch. So let me show you how the window switch comes out of the door panel. You'll need a flat blade screwdriver. So hopefully you can see right here at the window switch, there's like a little tab. Just take your flat blade screwdriver, sneak it in here, twist it as you're pulling up right here. And then your window switch will come out and right here there's actually a kind of a hook which hooks right into here and on the other side there's this tab here that goes into here your window switches out so just take your switch we want to take this off now so there's a little bit of a tab right here Let's go ahead and take the tab out, pull the switch off, just let the switch lay aside. And these are the wires that we're going to check. I'm looking for a yellow and a green wire. And they're right here. Uh, the green is terminal 9. So we're going to back probe it. And the yellow is terminal 10. And we're going to back probe that one also. And then we're going to take our ANOVA power check. And I'm going to use the auxiliary ground on the green wire. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to power up the window motor. But I'm going to use an amp clamp to measure the current when I power it up. So we're almost ready to go. Let's zero it out. All right, so it's on zero and let me power it up. Now let's take it apart. Let's switch it. Now I'm gonna put this on this one. And this one here, and it should go down. Let's put our amp clamp over it again. Let's zero it one more time. That's already zeroed. And let's go down and see what the current reading is. All right, so let's go write those readings down and go to our next motor. What I just measured was the current draw of the left front window motor. As a rule of thumb, current should not exceed 75% of the fuse that's protecting that circuit. So we have a 20 amp fuse protecting this circuit and 75% of that would be 15 amps. We only measured four amps. So the window motor on this circuit is good. So let's go on and check our next motor. So now I'm gonna check the passenger window current draw the same way. And that's gonna be the orange and the brown wire right here. Uh, circuit one and two. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna back probe the orange and we're gonna back probe the brown. We're going to put our ground lead on the orange and we're going to power up the brown. We're going to get our amp clamp. We're going to put it over the power checks tip. I'm going to zero everything out and I'm going to power it up and let's check that motor. All right, and then take that off. 
I'll move the ground to the brown wire. Come over here, we'll power this one up. We'll take our amp clamp, put it over the tip. Pretty much zeroed out, but let's get it to zero. Powered up. All right, so now we'll do the right rear motor. Let's go ahead and remove these. And we're looking for a light blue and red, and it's uh, terminal number 13 and 14. So this is the red one here. That's in. And then the light blue one here. Perfect. We'll get our power check tool. Put the ground on the light blue. The red. Here. Okay, let's get our amp clamp. Flip it over here. Zero it out. Power it up. Windows down. Take it off. Let's flip it. Let's go window up this time. Zero down again. And let's power it up. There we go. Let's go to our next motor. All right, so the last window is going to be this one over here. We're going to do the same thing. So this one's going to be 21 and 22, the terminals, and it's purple and green right here. So we're going to back probe the green and then back probe the purple. All right. We're going to take our power check here, put the ground lead on the purple power lead here on the green we'll get our amp clamp put it over the tip let's go ahead and zero that out again and then power it up all right let's go ahead and pull it off let's switch this around here we go, and then we'll power it up again. All right, so let's go write them readings down and let's see what they mean. I just showed you how to check the current draw to see if it was drawing too much current. All my windows were within specification. I'm not sure why my fuse blew, but everything is actually working fine now. I'll do an updated video if there still is a problem. But for now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Don't